Hey guys, it's Yoyo from Slidecow here. I am so excited to be launching this channel with you guys for the very first time. Uh, a bit of a backstory, I actually went to the community and asked them if there was a resource available to you to take advantage of in order to up your PowerPoint game, would you take advantage of it? And surprisingly, a lot of people have said yes, yes I would. And I was so overwhelmed with the responses I got, I had to make something for you guys. I had to sort of give you that resource, you know? And, and, and it's my dream to sort of just teach one person. And now that I can do it like in the masses, it's just so overwhelming and I have to thank you guys for it. We're going to get into it with this first ever video guide. And that is how to make an absolute killer of a front cover for your PowerPoint deck or for your PowerPoint presentation. Now, as you know, front covers, they're the first impressions for your deliverables, right? And, and you want to be able to impress your boss, your colleagues, your clients, even your boyfriend or girlfriend, whoever might be uh, with, with, with a decent front cover, right? So the first thing I want to go over before I actually get into this in detail, I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint 2016. What that means is, like, although a lot of the features that I'm going to be using are the exact same, you might have a bit of difficulty locating only some features uh, in earlier versions. Now, don't get me wrong, those features still exist, but they're moved around a bit. Um, but don't worry too much about it. You will be able to find those features. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just, you know, be sure about our, pay, our, our slide size here, okay? The slide size is important because when you go to design and slide size, you can pick between, you know, many, but for the most part, it's just a standard 4x3 or widescreen 16x9 or custom slide size, but I'm not going to get into that for this video. The standard 4x3 is mainly important for those who want to print out their PowerPoint, and it's usually uh, PowerPoint slides, which is usually essentially PowerPoint decks. And... Um, the widescreen is usually for those PowerPoint presentations, okay? So I'm just going to stick to the standard 4x3 for now. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this crap here. We're going to have a blank canvas, okay? It's just going to be white. The second thing we're going to do is when we go to, I believe it was, yeah, it was view, okay? You're going to make sure that your guides are turned on, okay? And the reason why these guides are important is because they allow you to sort of align all that you need to align and make sure that everything's in place. So just make sure that your guides are checked under view. So the first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to get a picture. A picture is important. However, a lot of people just tend to go to, you know, like let's say, um, they just search handshake, whatever, on Google, click on images, and then they find a handshake that they really like, whatever it might be, let's just say this one. Okay. That looks like a decent, that looks like a decent handshake, right guys? That looks like a decent handshake, you press Control V, oh, there we go. No, it doesn't look decent, why? Because the problem with this is that there's so much white space here and a lot of people don't realize that that actually, you know, it affects viewing, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not good. It's not good, it's not, it's not, it's not artistic, right? You guys are professionals, you guys have to seek perfection all the time. So, what a lot of people tend to do is they just tend to blow up the image like this and then they go like, eh, oh, set in stone. But the problem with this is it's so pixelated because you picked a low resolution photo. There's a solution to all of this. Find a high quality, high res stock photo that is for free. I use Visual Hunt for this. There's a lot of websites, but I specifically use Visual Hunt for this. Visualhunt.com. Um, so let's say I want to just search business here, okay? I get all of these searches, which is amazing. But there's something you as a professional have to, take in, have to take into account. Be sure to use commercial use photos. Do not set yourself up where you're going to be blamed or, or, or a lawsuit will be filed against you for using a photo without giving credit or, or, or by modifying it or whatever it might be. Just don't do it. A commercial use photo will allow you to modify that photo. It will allow you to sort of move that photo anywhere you want and put it in anywhere you want. So just be sure to use commercial use photos all the time when you're picking up images. I'm going to be picking up this guy because he looks surce. He looks surce as hell, you know? So he's got, we're just going to download this image right here. And I'm going to pick a large image. I'm actually going to pick the largest, but it doesn't really matter that much. But just to be safe, I'm going to pick the largest image here. I'm going to click on download. I'm going to set this up to desktop. Awesome. Okay. So I have this dude right here. I'm going to drag him and I'm going to drop him. There's still some white space. Do not stretch out the photo. Don't do this. Don't do this, okay? Because look how bad it looks here. Instead, what you want to do instead is you want to bring it up to the corner here and blow up the image. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on crop from format, the format tab. You're just going to click on crop 
And you're going to use these little black bars over here to bring the image closer. And I'm going to show you how that works right now. Something like this. And all I'm doing here is that I'm cropping the image into the canvas. And you can see that, the, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's this little white space okay, at the bottom of the image. And then there's a gray space. That white space is your canvas. You want to make sure that image is cropped to your canvas. You might say, hey, I want to show a little bit more shoulder. That's fine. You just have to scroll it to the left, like I'm doing right now. Anything that's in black and white outside of the gray, uh, sorry, outside of the black bars is going to be cropped out. When you're done and when you're happy, click on crop. Boom. Alrighty. The second thing we're going to do now is that, you know, we want to sort of bring out text. The problem is that a lot of people tend to add text without noticing that they can be color crashes. So, for example, I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to click on text box. I'm just going to click ASD, 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 whatever it might be. Click on white. If you move that here, you already have a color contrast. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to click on insert. We're going to click on shape. We're going to click on square. And then we're going to just highlight the entire image so that it, over, it just completely covers it. You're going to click on format, shape outline, no outline. And then you're going to click on format again, shape fill, and make it black. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this image here transparent so it's not so much of a color, co color clash when you have the image involved. So we're going to click on shape fill again and more fill colors. You're going to set the transparency here to, let's say around, I don't know, 40%, okay? 40%, yeah, 40% looks good. So now you have a decent, you know, background image for your text. You're going to click on insert and you're going to click on text box, okay? Just make it any size, it doesn't really matter. And then you're just going to click on any text. So I'm just going to call this like, uh, how to market cats for 2017. Uh... What's a supply that I can use? Um, a marketer's philosophy. Not sure if I spelled that right, but whatever. Anyway, whatever it might be, just pick the text. It'll be fine. All right, so pick the font that you want. I'm just gonna use Arial because it's the simplest. Uh, and I'm also gonna make the top line here, um, let's say, I'm gonna make that 30. And I'm gonna make this. 25. We're just going to spread it out like this. It does, again, it doesn't really matter. Once you're happy with the text that you want to use, what you want to do now is you want to click on... Um, actually, I just want to make that bold. Yeah, that looks better. I'm going to make the rest not bold. Anyway, so once you have what you want to use, is you're just going to have to click on the box, the text box that you just you edited, okay? And then click on... On the Home tab, there's an Arrange icon. Click on Arrange, click on Align, and click on Center. This way you know it's perfectly aligned to the center. And by the way, this applies to everything. This is a mega tip that not many people know. And they scramble to try and align everything manually. I'm hoping I'm saving you guys a lot of time by showing you this tip. Do it again, except click on Arrange and click on Align. And then click Middle. Boom. Dead center. You're happy now. This is the way it's going to be. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. A lot of you would be satisfied with this. Go like, I'm done. This is it. I'm, I'm good to go. I want to bring up that next level. So we're going to click on insert, we're going to click on shapes, we're going to click on this line right here, and we're going to just bring down a shape like so. Now, if it's not perfectly straight, don't really worry about it too much, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll help you fix that later. So then you're going to click on shape outline, you're going to make it white, you're going to click on shape outline again, you're going to click on weight, okay? This makes the thickness of the line, and you're going to click on six points. And you're just going to bring that down here, all right? Um, don't worry about the size of the line as well, you can always edit it. So I'm just going to increase the size of the line here, just a bit longer. And I'm going to make sure it's at a 90 degree angle by right clicking it and clicking on size and position, making sure the rotation is set to zero, zero degrees. So that means it's perfectly aligned. So now that we have that, I'm just going to bring this down here a bit. I'm going to copy this line and paste it. And now we have two lines next to each other, okay? This second line right here, I'm just going to rotate it to the right. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to click on the Home tab, which I've done right there. God damn it. Which I've done right there. Sorry. And we're going to click on Range. 
and we're gonna click on rotate rotate left 90 degrees celsius perfect we're gonna zoom in just to make sure that you captured it just make sure that it's perfectly aligned as well uh, a bit of a side note use control and the arrow keys to like give it a little nudge because yeah you can move up and down to however way you want but if you use control and up and down you get that little bit of nudge to get that extra position right make sure it's just perfectly aligned so now you're gonna spread this out all the way across this like a beast boom perfect so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag this you're just gonna make another copy of this over here you're gonna move it to the right a bit just to make sure it's aligned it is perfectly aligned okay hooray for me um now then, what you want to do is you want to make sure just make sure it's aligned yeah it seems pretty aligned you want to get this line here again I press Control C, Control V, which is essentially just copy paste. But no, I just said that. Oh, nice. Is that as well? Anyway, you're gonna bring that here. You're just drawing us. You're just drawing a rectangle, guys. Nothing special. Nothing special at all. Shake the scroll to the back so you can see it. And pull that back all the way. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the other side, just control C, control B, and move it here. Okay. Now obviously there's still more to be done. Do not worry. Do not worry. You might want to choose to just move this up. Again, it's up to you. I'm gonna move it up here just a bit, just to make sure that every there's enough space for everyone. I mean every every letter. And then you're just gonna move this back down again to make sure that it's perfectly aligned in the center like I showed, it, how I showed you, okay? It's never ever gonna be the exact way you want it, but you can come pretty close, okay? Don't waste your time uh, trying to make things perfect when they can be very, very, very good. Anyway, click on insert shapes and then we're going to click on any shape that you want. I'm just gonna pick a star to be honest. And I'm going to make big star here with uh, solid dimensions, like pretty, pretty simple dimensions. Just click on format and just, you know, it doesn't matter what sort of dimensions you use. I'm using, you know, the metric system, which is centimeters. I'm just going to click on, if, if you're using inches, don't worry, just adapt, really. You guys are professionals, you can adapt. Click on height, which is two centimeters. And then the width is also going to be two centimeters. So it's perfectly aligned again. Click on the star, arrange, align and then click on center. So now it's in the center piece. Just press Control C, Control V on the star again and make this one smaller. I'm gonna make this 1.5, 1.5. Doesn't matter where you move it, it's fine. You will arrange that later. And then you, what you're gonna do is you're going to click on Control C, Control V again and move that here. Okay, now you wanna make sure that this is perfectly aligned. All right, you wanna press Control on the star, Control on the star here, Control on the star here. And you're gonna make sure that it's distributed evenly. So you're gonna click on arrange from the again from the home tab, arrange, align, distribute horizontally. Then you're gonna click on arrange, align, middle. Okay, that way it's all perfectly aligned. Okay, now this one's important. Click on arrange and click on group. You essentially just made these three shapes under one group. And the reason why we're doing this is so we can center it. So click on arrange again, click on align, and click on align center. Perfect. Now let's make this white. Let's remove the outline. Boom. Look at that. Look how much better that looks than most of the PowerPoint decks today. And of course, you're not you're not gonna see it perfectly, but if you were to sort of bring that out more, look at that. You tell me. You tell me, okay, if this is not better than at least 80% of the stuff that you've seen. And I just taught, how you, taught you guys how to do it, and it's so easy. A lot of these things are easy to do, by the way. 
Anyway, I am so happy to share this first video with you guys and I would love it if you were to share this video, subscribe to this channel and like it and you know, leave comments behind, give me feedback. This is my first video. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm not a professional sort of video guide guy. I just like to teach people and I like to make people happy. So please let me know. I'm more than happy to help you. This is Yo-Yo from Slide Cow signing out. Have a good day guys.